What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm going to show you how to use your voice command to turn on your living room TV. Hey Google, play Super Power Beatdown on living room TV. And sure, playing Super Power Beatdown from YouTube on living room TV. There we go. And let's see if it works. So not only that it turns on the TV, it actually switches the input to the Chromecast and plays the video. Hey Google, pause. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how to do that. So once you set up your Google Home speaker on your home app, your Google Home app on your phone, and you also install um, and you connect your Chromecast on your Google Home app, I'm going to show you what else you have to do to get your TV to turn on with the Google Home speaker. And it's really easy to do. All right, for this to work, you're going to have to connect the Chromecast to the power adapter, not um, connected to the USB port on the TV. And yes, the TV USB port does act as a power source for the Chromecast, but if the TV is turned off, the USB port is turned off, and this is not in standby mode. So it won't turn on the TV because the USB is turned off. That's why it's crucial that you have the power cable connected to an AC outlet. And so it's always in standby mode so it can tell the TV to turn on, communicate with the TV. So I'm going to connect it to the HDMI 3 port. Um, so if it doesn't work for you, you could try HDMI 1 or HDMI 2. On this TV, I connect it to the HDMI 3 port and It'll communicate to tell the TV to turn on and switch the input. So on your TV, whether you have a Sony TV or a Samsung TV or even a Panasonic TV, it doesn't matter. You've got to have like a relatively new TV within the last like six or seven years. You should have this feature, HDMI control feature. So you want to go to the main menu on your TV and then go down to setup. On my TV, it's set up. On your TV, it may be your HDMI settings or your video input settings. But on the Samsung TV, it's set up. And then you go down to, no, I was wrong, it's input. So you go to your input on the Samsung TV, and then you go down to any net, and it's called HDMI CEC. On a Vizio TV, I believe it's called CEC. You want to activate that. Select that. And then go to Setup. Click on Setup. And then you want to turn on your AnyNet. All right, so I select that on. And that is selected on as well. And then you want to go ahead and do a search. And it should find the Chromecast. It may not say Chromecast, it may just say player. So let's go ahead and hit OK, and that's it. So guys, that's how you connect your Google Home speaker to turn on your TV and play videos on your TV. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. And if you want more how-to videos coming your way, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. And if you know anyone that has a Google Home speaker or a Chromecast that may be interested in this video, go ahead and click on the share button below. Thanks guys for watching.